welcome back to my channel today I thought I'd do a quick unboxing video so yesterday I got the Mrs Potts teapot the Cogsworth clock and the chip mug from Primark so I thought I'd do a quick unboxing of these things so we'll start with the chip mug so this is the bubble mug from Primark so if I open him up this is what he looks like on the front and if you turn him around he's got the bubbles on the back he's got the gold around the rim of his base he's got gold around the top and he's got the little chip on there and he's got like little bulging cheeks for when he's doing the bubble scene and this says on the bottom it's not suitable for microwave use and you've got to hand wash him only you can see there so that is the chip and he comes in this cute little packaging and it has like little pictures of chip blowing bubbles on the packaging and now that's the front of the packaging just says chip bubble mug so that is the chip and he was five pounds from Primark and he just sits in the packaging like that So the next thing I'll unbox is the teapot. So this is the Mrs. Potts teapot from Primark. She was £12. And if you see on the packaging, it just says Mrs. Potts teapot. And then it gives her dimensions. And it comes in this lovely packaging with Belle and the Beast on. I think that's really pretty. That's the back with all the information on. It's got the price on there, £12. On the lid, it's got a little picture of Mrs. Potts. So if we open her up, she's just got a bit of, ooh, bit of plastic on the top, keeping her stable. I'll just take that off. And then she, she then just lifts out. And then she's just a bit of plastic at the bottom again just to keep her stable and she's in the box so this is what she looks like out of the box she's got a bit of a dirty mark on her there but yeah it does just come off so this is what she looks like so she's got some little rosy cheeks she's got some red lips and then she's got like purple on her eyes I think she looks really pretty and then this, she's got she's got gold on the handle and she's got gold on the base and there and her lid comes off like that and there's a little bit of cardboard in there which you take out and then she's got a little notch on the top there and there's a little notch on the lid so you line the notch up place it in and then you turn turn it so that it doesn't come off when you pour out your tea I'm not going to be using it for tea she's just going to be for display purposes but if you did want to use it for tea that's why that's there so then I could just go and the lid wouldn't fall off so let's just take that off and see what she says on the bottom so that's what she looks like inside and then on the bottom Again, it says on there, not suitable for microwave use and hand wash only. It's hand wash only because if you dishwash it, all the gold will come off. But there you go, she's a nice big size as well. So yeah, really happy with her. So she will go really nicely with the chip mug. I do also have the older chip mug as well go with them so that's mrs potts unboxed and chip so now we will go to cogsworth so this is cogsworth he comes in this box again it's got the same pattern on as the mrs potts box and on the front it just says cogsworth clock and his dimensions and then on the back it's got all the information and his price and he was £10 so I'm just going to open him up so 
again he just has a bit of plastic on the top holding him in place so I'll remove that and then just gonna pull him out and then he also has a bit of plastic on his base keeping him in place so that's what he looks like out of the box so he just looks like that So yeah, he looks like that. And then if we turn him round, there is the clock mechanism. He doesn't have anything hide in this. So you would need to have him forward facing so you couldn't see the hole in the back. So he takes a double A battery and you alter the clock by turning the little white wheel here. So I'll just turn this round and I'll turn the wheel. So that turns his hands like that. So I'll just find a double A battery and I'll put it in for you so you can see him working. Okay, so I found the battery. I'm not sure if this one works, so we'll have a go and then we'll see. If not, I'll try to find another one. Oh. Get it in. It's not very easy to get in. Oh well, that's broken it. Right, he's broken. So, yeah, so this is very flimsy. He's broken just trying to get the battery in. The battery is a very quite stacked tight squeeze and the actual metal bit has bent trying to get it in. Don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it or not. I don't think so. I'm just going to try and do this off camera. So I have actually managed to get the battery in and he is actually working because you can actually see the gold bit ticking around and you can actually hear him ticking as well. If I move him closer, I don't know if you can hear it. So yeah, he does work. It was just really hard to get the battery in. I just had to bend the metal bit back, but he is working. So I'm just going to correct the time to the right time and then I'll do a time lapse so you can see the hands turning. So that's about right. So I'll now just set a time lapse so hopefully you can see these hands moving.